Ah, good day, Prometheans. Welcome to this video. We are going to do a leak code problem in Python. Today's problem is called create target array in a given order. I'll read through the problem, then we will talk about a solution and then the code. So let's get started. The problem says, given two arrays of an integer nums at index, your task is to create a target array under the following rules. So initially target is gonna be empty. And then from left to right, it must read nums at i and index at i and insert the index i and the value nums in the target. And repeat these steps until no element is left in nums or index. And then return the target. And it says the insertion operations will be valid. All right. So let's take a look at an example, see how this works. So they give us this array nums, they give this array index. And this is our output. So what they've done here is taken the first one, nums, which is zero. The first one, index, is zero. And they've inserted it into the target array. It'll make more sense as we go. So the next one is one and one. So one and one, and then they added it to the target array. Next one is two and two, and two and two, they added zero, one, two. All right, so now it's where it's changed. The next one is three, but this time, instead of the third index, it's a second index. So it's actually gonna insert. So we're gonna take the number three, insert it at the second index. So if you look at the index, zero, one, two, that's where the three's been inserted. And then everything left has been moved over to the right. And the last one here, four at position one. So we're gonna take number four and insert it at position one. So zero position, one position's four, and then the rest of this array has been moved to the right. All right, now let's see how that works. So first, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna write down the two arrays. So nums is zero, one, two, three, four. And then we have index, which is zero, one, two, two, one. All right, so first we need to instantiate a target array and we'll just leave it empty. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna for loop through the nums array here. So we'll do a for i in whoa, length of nums. And then what we're gonna do is check the size and compare these two. So what I'll do is an if statement. So if we're gonna look at the index and compare it to the target array. So the first one, we're gonna look at index zero and we're gonna look at target and see if it is equal, which zero and there's nothing in target yet. So it does equal. So basically what that will look like is index, and if it's equal to the length of the target. If it is, then we're going to append into the target. So it would be target.append, and we're gonna do the noms at position i. So we're gonna take this number, it's the first number, and we're gonna insert it into target. So we'll keep doing that until something changes. So we'll do the next one, one. We'll compare it to here, that is equal, so we'll insert one. And then the next one, next one is two. So that is equal, so we'll insert the number two. The next one is two, and that doesn't equal. So now we're gonna do an else statement. So if, and then we'll do else. And how that's gonna look is we're going to need to, let's start over here. We'll do a index position i and target. So what this is, is we're gonna take the, num the second one here, and then we're going to add the nums 
at position i. So similarly to what we did before, so we're going to read this index and we're going to take this number. So like what they're showing over here, we're going to take this number, we're going to read this index and this number. And then what we're going to do is we need to insert it to the left right in here. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is target and then index uh, in Python you can do double quotes index and then position I. And so what that means is similarly to over here this is that uh, index that right here position I 2 0 1 2 and then the colons dot dot means to the left so we're going to insert that to the left so we're going to take this number three and it's going to insert right there and what we need to do is also add target okay and so then we'll do that for the last one here we'll go through this again we will say at the one position one does not equal so then what we'll do is take four insert it in the first position zero and then here so we should come up with zero four one three two zero four one three two is our answer and then lastly return our target all right so it kind of pseudo code but uh, a little bit of code here but let's go ahead and code it out so you can see how it runs so first what we're going to do is create our empty target array so target empty array then we'll start our for loop through the nums array so that's for i in range and then length of nums then we'll want to do is compare the index to the target and see if they're the same length and if they are we're going to insert into the target so what that looks like is if index at i double equals the length of target so if they do then we'll go ahead and append so target append and we're going to do nums at i if not then we'll this is where we'll do else statement and first we so this is going to be inserted into the target and what we're going to do is take target and anything to the left so that's where the colon index at position i i'll go ahead and explain this again once i get it written out and then we're going to add nums at i and then we're going to add target at index position i with a colon so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the nums at position i so nums in this case here is four and we're going to insert it to the left of index i so here's one so zero one so basically left of one we're going to insert four here and then everything else that's what this comma here is or this that's what this colon here is everything left and the previous target is going to insert to the right so one three and two and then all of that string will be added to our new target array and then we'll loop through the loop until we're done and so now when we're all done we'll return target let's go ahead and run that and make sure that it runs successfully okay syntax here so target equals target index at i plus nums oh yeah i need a bracket here target all right that should do it let's go ahead and run it again and it's successful all right hope that helps and thank you for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials in python and javascript thanks for watching so long